Hello Capricorn. Happy May 2017. This is your reading. So we're going to shuffle nine cards. I hope everyone's doing well. I want to let everyone know um, that this is for your north node, your rising sign, your moon sign. If you obviously if you're born a, um, under the sign of Capricorn, of course, this reading is for you. And um, in May, the new moon and the full moon. So the full moon will be on May 10th. And the new moon will be on May 25th. So definitely get your meditation on. Um, on May 10th, the full moon will be in Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio rising north node or in your moon, that's a great time. You can definitely um, pull in the energy then. New moon is on May 25th, and it's in Gemini. So if Gemini is your rising sign, your north node, great time to do that. The moon sign. Okay, I shuffle these really good. Okay, so let's get to it. All right. So we're pulling nine cards like I said before. Let's see what the cards say. There's like lots of kids outside playing. So I don't know if you can hear in the background. Okay, the world. Okay, so Capricorn, when it comes to love, you're just thinking large, like the world, you know. Um, and don't allow this to stress you out where you're just thinking of too many things at once and it's just becoming a bigger pressure for you, okay? So this is a time where you are taking it on a positive level. So if you're reading this for love, it's like you found someone and your life just feels so complete and it just feels bigger and better. And this is a time for you to just enjoy and and just ride that feeling, okay? Of being like on top of the world, of just like feeling like things are coming together. All right, so... The second card is the Empress card. So meeting this person, they, they might uh, uh, do more for you than anyone else that you've ever met. You've, you're enjoying your time spent with them. They're very um, catering to your, your feelings. And that's when you know you're in like a really good relationship. Okay. And now we have the Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords is reminding you of um, what things look like, what they seem, and what they are, and what they're, what they're not. So don't overthink things too much. Just enjoy the moment and, and, and see things for really what they are, but don't read into too, many, too much. You know, like if you just met the person, you really like them, enjoy their time. Enjoy your time with them. Um, and don't judge their actions so quickly. You know, you're still getting to know them. Then you have the Queen of co of Coins, okay? And the Queen of Coins is reminding you of how, you f how you're comparing maybe this new relationship that's coming in. And, and I want to say that if it's not reading in only just in love, it's like your perception of of your life right now and how you want to be treated okay so perception of your life world card how you want to be treated and really not judging every experience so harshly is like the big lesson in this right the queen of coins is coming through and reminding you like not to like give up the things you love and you enjoy your power your control um, uh, your work you know, um, your focus, your drive. Two of staves is uh, having you think of how would you balance this new relationship in your life right now. How are you going to balance that? And you will balance that well, okay? It will work out well. And and y you're thinking, you're happy, but then you, your mind goes into power, like, okay, how, how am I going to share my space? All of this. So... This is more of you thinking of balancing out your, your love life, your personal space, 
your your own personal joy like I'm really feeling that so the nine of cups I love it nine of cups is all about you feeling that you have more to achieve you showing off what you have to achieve and with and if you're reading this for love which um this card came up earlier when I was looking at this card and it's like you being proud of of the relationship if this is like for a love reading you'd be proud of the relationship you'll be so happy that you you just love going out with this person and showing them off okay and for a reading that is more um, for your work then it's more of you feeling like you have more to accomplish and everything that you've accomplished already you you need to highlight it in in, in a new way okay and you feel the need to do this so that you receive more work it's more like you marketing yourself right so the hermit card is you wanting to not just go out with this new found love in your life but spending more time together and really getting to know each other where the seven sword comes in where you're not judging the person's action right off the bat okay getting to know them and see why they they um, react the way they do or or, or um, communicate the way they do it, their own experience right so now we have the king of coins and I love it because you had the queen of coins already so what I feel like is is when it comes to work family you guys have the same connection okay the same beliefs the same way of dealing with things so you guys will match on that level when it comes to like money family work okay it's a good match three of staves I love it three of staves is saying now you're playing your cards wisely you you know if this progress even more where different levels of the relationship you might want that person to kind of ask first because you're already sure but you want to make sure that that person is sure so you're waiting for them is kind of like do I wait for them do I say so you know use your best judgment and see okay do I wait for them to make the next move to this that and um, it's like this card is like a coy card kind of like okay should I should I go after should I be the one to go forward and go after what I want should I say hey let's do this um, uh, let's take it to this next level or are you waiting for the next person so yeah so I hope you like the reading Capricorn Thank you guys so much for tuning in and um, I will see you guys next time. I'm just filming it raw, I'm not even editing, so um, I don't edit, I never edit like the whole reading, but like at the end, like you're going to see me turn the camera off, like I'm not even going to edit that part. So um, thank you guys. I did some of the videos live. I think I did Aries and Taurus live. I tried to do Gemini live and the internet connection was not working this morning i don't know why i think i need to switch rooms but sometimes i'll go live all right guys i'll talk to you later